What's going on guys? Kellen here at Dream Media Home Theater. We're here with MoFi Distribution checking out the little setup here for the Hi-Fi Rose, my personal favorite streamer that we offer. And I'm standing with Josh. He's going to give us a going? quick rundown of all the models that are currently out on the market uh, for Hi-Fi Rose and then talk about this brand new piece here. So Josh, uh, welcome this morning Thank and I'll you. let you take it Good away. Good to be here. Yeah, let's go ahead and start with, this is the, uh, the RS520 uh, from them. It's a, uh, f a full streaming capabilities with a uh, 250 watt per channel integrated amplifier built in. Um, you can also connect an analog source, but it's, uh, it's kind of an all-in-one all -in solution. Um, got a nice, beautiful display there. And uh, yeah, if you have a TV, you hook it right in there and uh, you can play video straight to your TV. Yeah, it's awesome. I know playing a lot of, I know you just had Billie Eilish tiny desk there. Yeah. A lot of the, you know, YouTube videos and that sort of thing, live concerts that you can pull um, from streaming, although it's not maybe the best quality yeah. um, in terms of maybe streaming from Cobuzz or Tidal. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's still really cool to see, you know, some of that video. Yeah, absolutely. Well. I think we'll see an, a continued improvement in the quality of videos on, on YouTube and stuff. And more people are posting 4K content almost daily. So absolutely. It's, it's improving. Absolutely. All right. So now we'll jump over to the RS-130. This is the network transport from you guys. So tell us a little more about that. Yeah, this is their flagship network transport. It's uh, digital output only, and it does contain some tech that you can't find in the other uh, units such as an internal solid state hard drive, a fiber optic network connection capability, fiber optic USB, which they developed, um, and a much higher end power supply. It, it is a noticeable difference uh, in improved performance over the 150. Yeah, I had, I had the 150 and uh, was able to tell pretty quickly the, the difference between the 150 and the 130. And if you guys are interested in doing more of the fiber connections, uh, we do ha offer that um, and, and suggest, you know, what you can purchase. Uh, although we don't offer it direct, we can put you in the direct array uh, with, with the direction of Josh, of course, to us sure. um, of, of where to purchase those items if you're interested in, in going the fiber route and connections uh, to this guy. Absolutely. So if we skip over here, we'll save the best or the newest for last, yes. I should say. Um, tell us. Tell us a little about this solution. Yeah, so this is their uh, entry level 250A. It's, you know, clearly it's a smaller display. It's single ended only. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great entry level piece. It also has a headphone app. So you can, uh, if, for, oh. if you want to need a desktop solution, it offers that, but full capabilities, just like the rest of them, uh, the units in the, in the lineup. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a great little piece, especially someone who's looking to uh, maybe upgrade from Sonos or Blue Sound and wants that touch panel interface or just needs a really small, high quality streamer. Yeah, awesome. And then um, this is a little ripper up top here uh, or CD transport. This is actually the new optical uh, USB interface that they created. Okay. Uh, looks very similar to the CD transport, okay. which is Got this, it. a little CD transport. They give you this beautiful box. It actually has some quite a bit of weight to it. Um, but yeah, this will let you oh, wow. yeah. uh, connect um, your hard drives and a USB DAC uh, via USB uh, fiber to the RS-130. And they did develop it specifically as a companion piece for the 130. Okay. So if you don't, if you want to further isolate your hard drives or your USB DAC from from, the, from any noise getting in the RS-130. It, it's designed specifically for that and just kind of continue to take the performance to the now, next level. Now, do these come in a black finish as they well? They do to not. Match? They, okay. Uh, they okay. only come in silver right now. Uh, they may offer black in the, in the near future. That may be a question that some customers may ask. So same, and then same goes for the CD as well? Same silver. for the CD uh, transport okay. ripper. And we'll, we'll touch and go on the 150. I know we've done separate videos, so you can definitely check out our channel. Um, all of the main components, though, come in black and silver. Correct, finishes. correct. Everything comes so in black and silver. They have the RS-150 here in silver. This is going to be um, basically their best their best all in one streamer and DAC that they offer. And, and Josh can, can describe a little more yep, about that. Yeah, definitely as well. their best all in one player with the DAC. It's fully balanced, so you have single ended and balanced connections there. Um, it is a tremendous, tremendous piece. A lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, performance for the money with that one. You get a beautiful 14.9 inch touchscreen on the on the front, as well as tons of inputs and outputs, and a lot of flexibility for for whatever system that you want to connect it to. Yeah, and if you if you're not just 
if you don't have the space to do a separate preamp or maybe you already have a nice stereo or a couple mono blocks, um, you know, if you, if you don't have to get or you're looking for an upgrade path that you only have room for a single piece, you know, this is a great solution where you don't have to have a separate uh, preamp um, in order to use it. It'll have the DAC built in. You can run it straight into an amp. You're ready to go with the RS-130. Uh, I think it'll be important to mention that you will need to still run that into something uh, with a DAC, such as a, a stereo preamp or some type of you know higher end receiver or processor. Or a standalone DAC as well. Yeah, or yeah, or just a standalone DAC. So we'll jump back over here to the newest piece that just came out that'll be hitting the market very very soon. Josh, tell us yeah, all about so this. Yeah, so this is their new uh, all analog R RA280. And this is their uh, 250 watt per channel um, integrated amplifier. It has a moving magnet phono preamp as well as single ended and balanced inputs. It also has defeatable tone controls. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a great piece for someone looking for a companion piece for a 150 or already has a, a source component and is looking for kind of uh, ble bleeding edge uh, solid state technology with the uh, GANFET modules which, which drive the amplifier. Yeah, I kind of like how you guys kept, or Hi-Fi Rose kept this kind of like matte. Yeah, the matte. Um, mm -hmm. That looks really clean. Kind of has like a steampunk vibe to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and they and, and steampunk very, vibe. Yeah, very very <laughs> tactile controls. It has some some weight to it. It's really nice machined um, ch chassis. Oh, um, we're expecting this to do quite well, um, and it's a it's a, a really attractive price point for a lot of people at twenty nine ninety five. Yeah, no, that's that's very sweet. Awesome, awesome. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time this morning. Again, we're here at uh, Axpona twenty twenty four. If you guys are interested in learning more about Hi-Fi Rose or if you're interested in anything, uh, home theater, audio video, two channel audio video, uh, feel free to reach out and give us a call. We'd love the opportunity to earn your business. Again, this is Kellen. We have Josh here uh, from MoFi Distribution. We'll catch you in the next video. Appreciate it, guys.